Hello guys and welcome to another unboxing and review video and today finally we're taking a look at Battle Droid from Attack of the Clones. Guys, I want to give a huge shout out to my friend Comic Concepts for sending me this figure. If you want to get this one or any other collectibles, make sure you check them out. I put the link in the description below. Make sure you use the code Comic Concepts 10 and you can save 10% store wide. Alright guys, enough with the talking, let's start with the unboxing, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, and here we have the box, as you can see we have the battle droid in the front, this is the side of the box, nothing here, just Disney logo and Star Wars, this is the back with all the cursor warning, small pieces, do not eat it. This is the other side, nothing there, and last but not least, the front again. Now this thing is special edition, so... It is a cover. Let me remove the cover and you can see here a beautiful window and of course the battle droid with the Attack of the Clones logo. This is the side, battle droid, very nice. And the back with all more warnings and information about the figure. Now this is the other side, Star Wars and the logo down there. And that's basically it. Alright guys, so now let me remove this and the first thing is... The brand new smell of a hot toys. Now let me remove this figure and show you all the details for now because I'm gonna show you everything later in the video. As you can see, this thing looks very nice. Love the paint application and the detail. Nicely done. Alright, guys, so now let me take everything out and take a closer look at the accessories. Alright, guys, and here we have all the accessories. And yes, it is not much. We only have the base with some sand. We have C-Tripio's head some guns, the backpack, and some pegs. Now, taking a closer look at c 3 po telescope here, it looks very nice. You can see very nice paint application, a lot of weathering. Yes, this is not the golden version. This is the Attack of the Clones, so that's why is this color here. Now, you can remove the face, and you have access to the batteries and the on and off switch now. One thing I have to say, that this light is very bright. As you can see, it looks very nice on c 3 po now, I was surprised that the neck has articulation, and then this peg, you can remove it if you want to attach it to the battle droid. And don't worry, I'm going to show you that later. For the next one, we have the backpack here. Nasty weather, as you can see, with some orange, pinkish color. Now, this thing here, you can remove it, and I know this was a concern of my friend Easy Comedy Collectibles. And yeah, you can remove it, so it looks pretty cool. Now, on the top, you have some antennas here, so you can actually move it up if you want. So, very nice. Nasty weather. This is the other side or inside the back. And you can see some pegs there. And that's pretty much it. For the next one, we have some antennas that you can attach to the figure if you want. Now, you can see the peg and, of course, the cable at the bottom. Now, the antenna feels like this is like metal, but it looks good. For the next one, we have these binoculars here. And you can see very nicely weather, some scratches going on on the top and to the side. And it looks pretty cool, if you ask me. Now, for the next accessory we have, yes, we have the blaster here. And this is just black and silver color. As you can see, not much weathering, but I think it will do the job just fine. All right, guys, enough of the accessories. Let's take a look at the figure. And here we have the battle droid, guys. And let me tell you, this thing looks very nice. I love the paint application and the actual figure itself. Now, let me see how tall this figure actually is. And the battle droid is about... 12 and a quarter inches tall. Alright guys, so now let's punch in and take a closer look at the details here. And as you can see, it looks very nice. A lot of weathering going on. This thing is very plasticky and very fragile as well. I feel like I'm going to break it. But believe it or not, you can do a lot of things with this figure. Now this is the side, nasty weather. I love the paint application, especially on the side and the eyes. This is the front. You can see a little thingy over there. And of course, the top, which for some reason, mine is a bit loosey. Now for the body, is everything here is basically brand new. Brand new mold. You can see the arms, the pistons on the side, and of course, the arms. Now there's a lot of articulation, which I'm going to show you later in the video. You can see the hands as well, especially the fingers, nasty weathered. And of course, the other side. Now for the torso, you can see some 
mechanical pieces over here and of course you can see the underneath there now for the legs you can see more weathering especially on the size again remember this is supposed to be a droid metal and a lot of battle damage and weathering moving down you can see the feet the shoes nicely done nasty weather on the side even the bottom of the feet is nicely done as well so kudos to hot toys for that but this is the other side as you can see there and of course the back of the droid more weathering going on this is again a battle droid so you're gonna see a lot of scratches and damage now you can move these pieces here to put the either the antenna or the backpack so that's very good now you can put this on like so and that's basically it this is the shoulders looking very nice now for the articulation you can move the head up this much down this much and this thing is a bit loosey as i showed you before you can move it to the side because there is a peg now the neck you can actually put it down if you want which i'm gonna show you later with c trivial you can move the arm up some swivel here on the bicep and also at the bottom you have some movement you can bend the elbow for about this much not bad and you have some peg articulation on the hand and movement on the fingers so that's basically it not bad for the articulation if you ask me now for the torso you have a little bit of up crunch and a little bit of swivel as you can see the move the pieces on the side moves you can lift the leg for about this much not bad and back for about this much now no more articulation on there but you can actually bend the knee like that and last but not least you have some swivel and articulation on the feet so not bad all right guys and over this let me show you the figure with c has skull and as you can see here yes it is a long neck on purpose because you can actually put it down and it will look much much better as you can see it looks pretty cool exactly like the movie proportion wise looks fantastic especially with the head if you want to do some really fun poses you can leave it like that now as i mentioned before you can put the peg on the neck so it will look like that all right guys enough with this let's do some poses
Alright guys, my final thoughts about this figure is actually very positive. I started with the likeness, I think this is a really good representation of the battle droid as seen in the Attack of the Clones movie. Now this figure, because it is a droid, doesn't come with much. We have the backpack, we have the antenna, we have Tidribio's head and, you know, the blaster and some binoculars. No hands, just the figure itself. Now in terms of articulation, this figure is actually very good. To be a droid and this fragile, you can actually pull really cool poses with this figure. I will definitely ask you to be very patient and be obviously careful because you don't want to break this figure. And because of that, my final score is 9 out of 10. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, guys, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, Manafa Collectibles, TikTok, Manafa Collectibles, and Facebook group, Six Skill Media. For anything related, one skill skill figures, both links in the description below. And if you have some time, check out these two cool videos. And as always, be well and see you around in the next video.